Ant-Man. Full disclosure, I just rewatched Ant-Man from 2015. It seemed appropriate since Ant-Man and the Wasp hit theaters a few weeks ago and I still haven't seen it. But there is something to be said about this movie coming out in 2015. Avengers 2 had just hit the theaters a few months ago and no one was really impressed. Sure, it was good, but it wasn't anything special. So your expectations on Ant-Man were instantly waving. Could this movie hold up? Well, that's where it's got interesting. Most of you reading this are aware of Edgar Wright movies. They have a pretty good plot and the humor is so kitschy, but they haven't exactly been mega-hit summer blockbusters, just cult classics and enjoyable movies. So was anyone surprised when he had a problem with all the Marvel they wanted to put in the movie? No. Was anyone really surprised he wasn't okay with it? No. It ultimately comes down to Marvel has a view, and he has a different view. So with that background, let's look at the movie. It's a solid movie. It reminds you of maybe Iron Man with a softer theme, add in the heist theme, the humor, and you get a really good original movie. But there's a problem, and it's a double-edged sword. It's a Marvel movie. Why do they mention Avengers in this? Why is Falcon in this movie? Why Hydra? Oh, sure, it all fits in perfectly to the bigger picture, but anyone watching this movie can tell it feels like an afterthought. I'm convinced Edgar Wright never agreed to any of the Avengers or MCU madness they added to this movie. It didn't fit, and I think that's where it detracts from the movie as a whole. Now, all the MCU fans rejoiced and cheered because who doesn't love a tie-in? Why the hell else would we stay to these end credits? We want the next big thing. And Civil War gave that to us. And now, Ant-Man and the Wasp. So what does it come down to? Well, Edgar Wright left his mark on this movie. Three years ago, people thought that was a big deal. But soon after the movie was released, well, no one cared. So here we are, a mediocre Ant-Man movie. Original enough to be a heist movie, but not good enough to be an Iron Man movie. Funny enough, though, to be better than a Captain movie, but not a Guardians movie. Sadly, it sits in the middle, yearning to have been given what it was deserved. Instead, just a shameless plug by the MCU for another character. Butter rating. There's ants in my popcorn and I just don't care. <laughs>